Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabrina, and today we're continuing on with Fall Guys Season 5.5. We are in all of the shows. Let's see what we're going to go ahead and get. By the time this goes up, this is the day after I've gotten back from my vacation. And I am excited to be playing the Fall Guys soon. I am, I'm sure. This is just how I feel whenever I go on vacation and I don't play video games for a bit. Not video games, but like the video games that I record. I'll probably still be playing Fall Guys through my, out my vacation just because I want to get the kudos, I want to get the costumes, like all that, all that little stuff. Also, it's a good way of like unwinding. Plus, I have a friend over there who I'm going to go visit. If you're ever in one of my streams it's her name is north and like her name's north on here and she And uh, she's pretty much the one who suggests the games that we play on stream, except for like once. Um, my best friend, Oxygen, is the one who suggested Five Nights at Freddy's, which, don't get me wrong, was really, really fun. Like it was really fun, um, but I got a lot of sensory issues while playing that game and like my best friend warned me like my not my sorry not my best friend who was it that warned me actually i think it was north who warned me about the, um, yeah, I think it was North who warned me about the uh, possible sen sensory overload that I would get because neurodiver being neurodivergent, specifically with ADHD, does give me those issues where I'm just not the best. It's the best way I can describe it. Like I don't handle loud noises or like flashing lights very much, so. Oh, this could go so badly. I hope people are smart. And I'm not alone defending the eggs. Tomato. Can't grip the tomato. It's like so annoying. I can't fucking grip the tomato. Freak. Get two against one is real fair, guys. Okay, fuck you, team. This is when you fucking fall back. You fucking bastards. We're we're done.
Alright. I'm done. Go for it. My fucking team doesn't want to do do any work. Oh. How the fuck did that happen? Peace. We weren't gonna win. Like, they weren't giving anything, this team. This is the problem with egg scramble. If you don't know the proper, like, uh, the proper um, focus, there's nothing I can do. Like, there is no way that one person can save a nest. It needs to be a minimum of three. And yes, when you're only playing with four, that really sucks because that's one person alone. But it's better one person alone getting more eggs than one person alone trying to save the egg nest. But we have the main show. This means I get to just focus on me, myself, and I. Which will be lovely. Is it wrong that I really want to play Spirit Farrier? I already have like a lot recorded. I don't need to play Spirit Farrier. But I really want to play Spirit Farrier. Like I've covered my vacation and then some with Spirit Farrier. And I finished playing Unbound. So the rest of Unbound has all been pre recorded. Most of the people who like watch me play Fall Guys primarily just watch me play Fall Guys. But if you have any like good games, I know one of my uh, followers had suggested um, Tekken 7. Apparently, it's more like a beat em up type game. Yeah, maybe. Also, um, for the one person I'm trying to remember their name. Um, oh. they came to Magic Potion Millionaire my stream on Magic Potion Millionaire and they said Sh Sh Sharon? Sharon? something I'm sorry I if you're listening to this one you can correct me in the comments down below um, but they came to the Magic Potion Millionaire stream and suggested I play Neon Abyss which I have downloaded and I'm going to see off camera if I'm going to enjoy it if this is something that's more stream material if it's something like for an entire series because if it's stream material I can throw it on in my like feel good Wednesday streams um, if it's more like series material but I don't like playing roguelike games on series because it's a lot of repetitive going back and forth. Um, which I think that's what this one is. It's like a roguelike game from what I can decipher. But, yeah, I'm always looking for new games. Always, always, always. Which is really... I, <laughs> if anyone comes... Warning, if anyone comes to my streams and suggests in the comments a um, a game and North is there, it's going on a list. 
because North has created a Excel document, a spreadsheet for me in order to be able to add um, games onto the list. And she'll mark down who suggested it and will ask you out of a scale from one to 10, how much do you recommend the game? Most of the time though, if someone is recommending the game, I doubt that they're recommending me a horrible game. Uh, normally it's like their favorite games or a game that they've played that they think that, that I'll enjoy. So with the Neon Abyss, like I think I watched a couple, I think I have a couple of streamers that I watch that played it. So I might watch some gameplay as well. Like I think um, Bear Taffy and Northern Lion played it. But that just, like, because it rings um, a bell. I think Biz Snap also played it. Like that that's just like a thought process. I think I think I've seen them play it before. Um here. I'm gonna put Neon Abyss. Northern Lion. So Northern Lion play did a let's play of it. Also undermine. Okay, so he did like a look, um, like a let's look at. Nothing really in depth. How about Bear Taffy? Mm, Bear Taffy was the one who played Neon Abyss. He has like seven episodes. I think he played it on stream. Yeah, he played it on stream. Yeah, seven episodes. I'm. I might just watch some of his his stuff. I'm going to stick around here because there isn't any, god damn it, isn't any red, like there's one other red person over here. it we got eliminated for a while it was okay but 
I feel like it was too con like the red team was too concentrated on one side. There you go. Next next show. Let's see which show we're gonna be in. I literally just saved the uh, Bear Taffy list, um, playlist of Neon Abyss into my save, like my watch laters to you know, get a little look, see a little peek of what it's gonna be before I start playing it. I feel, I feel good. I normally feel good when people suggest games because, again, people don't just suggest games willy-nilly. Me and this dude have like pretty much the same idea. Oh, dude, you're, uh, you also have a tail. Dude. No, we lost. <laughs> it happens. All right, let's go in one more time. What game are we going to get now? What show? What will be our final show for the day? Quad celebrations. Okay. Can either do great or horrible. Yeah, I was uh, I was discussing something actually with one of my friends. And uh, we were talking about Genshin, and I've never played it. Um, if you've played Genshin and you have an opinion, leave it down in the comments down below. I'm looking at it to play like myself off of camera because I, I always need like another game yes I, I put up three videos a day sometimes it's a little overwhelming but the, occasionally I'll need to like um, I'll need to like get another game basically in for myself or like streams and stuff and we were discussing Genshin and I don't really have much opinions it kind of reminds me of like RuneScape um, where it's like open world maybe like Final Fantasy seven something like that and yeah so as we were discussing this um she was like oh you should you should try it out and i'm like yeah maybe we'll see but i know like there are some people who just like make their channel completely around it like actually i have a friend a uh, youtube friend that i met when he was a twitch streamer um or more actively a twitch streamer and he gets like, he's surround, like, basically just makes Fae and Genshin content. And mostly gacha pulls and, like, um, like, what could be the future, things like that. Like, not really gameplay. Not really his, his jam. Oh, looks like we're not going to be getting into this one. Yeah, no, people are exiting. I'll exit and then go back in. It doesn't normally take about... Doesn't normally take two minutes to get into a game, but I am playing it at like noon on a Tuesday. Uh, only problems with working late and or trying to get <laughs> recordings in before vacation. Uh, but yeah, so like I could just ask him how he feels about the gameplay. I do, again, I do know that there are people who literally surround their, their entire lives around one game. 
it doesn't matter what game it is there are minecraft uh streamers there are um fortnite league of legend you know they literally focus their entire channel around one game i would murder someone if i did that my adhd would not allow me to only focus on one game this is how we've gotten three episodes a day because and this is also the only reason why y'all get fall guys every single day for the last like year because actually a year would have been in i started playing this in like october 20 uh october 2020 a little bit after it came out and the only reason i do this is because i play two other games i was actually talking with a friend about this the other day and um she was like sabrina you really stretch yourself out thin like three episodes a day you work a full-time job and i'm like yeah that's why there's not much editing in my videos like yeah there's some editing i minimize it down like one of the unbound that will be in the future it was 57 minutes and i cropped it down to 23 because it was just me doing something over and over and over and over and over and over and over again for like 30 minutes y'all don't need to see that <laughs> but like I think there are certain things that I'll, I'll crop or if I make a mistake or something goes really wrong like y'all don't see all of my fall guys there are occasions that I'll start a fall guys episode and either I can't get into the game right away or whoops Either I can't get in the game right away, or um, it was like a really bad first round, but I just delete. If it's at the beginning of an episode, I'm more likely to delete than if it's like at the, um, like during an episode. Gosh, darn this. There you go. Just. Like, if it's just, like, at the end of an episode, like, during an episode or, so or something, I'll just keep it in. Because <laughs> to go in, edit the episode. So I put in the episode, I edit it. By the time it comes out of the editing software, which already takes like an hour to process, it takes another hour to upload <laughs> because it's so much larger now. You can put in like a 500 megabyte. Like most of my videos, because I record in MK3, it exits my OBS around 550 megabytes for a 20 minute shot. So, you know, longer, it's more. But, like, it's it's normally around 550. That takes about 15 to 20 minutes to upload, depending on, um, depending on the day, the internet stability, yada, 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 blah, 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 no one cares. But I put it in, and that same um, 550 megabyte turns into like a 2.47 gigabyte one after my after my um, processing time I should probably actually pay attention to the game B-W-O-G, B-W-O-G, A, C, B-W-O-G, C, A, B-W, there you go, we made it, awesome, 
But yeah, no, it's just, it's really funny that when I edit a video, suddenly it goes from like 500 to like a gag, two gags, three gags. <laughs> and you're like, it doesn't get that much. But it just, it renders out a higher quality because it also doesn't, it, my um, OBS downloads naturally in MKV, but my um, editing software saves into MP4. I think that's what it is, an MP4. Is that snow? Yeah, that's that's the white stuff. That's snow. Fun. This one's lasting a lot longer than I thought it would. Oh well, doesn't matter. Qualified. Awesome. Alright. Well, at least I'll have something to watch while I'm editing. A video of mine. Oh, oh no, Bear Taffy is what is playing. I was like super excited because I just got like a little notification from Twitch that Bear Taffy was playing and was live, and I love putting Bear Taffy on just to listen to. But he's playing Hollow, Halo, Hollow. One. Ah! No, nope, messed up. Someone got it. Okay. I got another one. <laughs> got it. I swear I've talked so much about other YouTubers during this entire episode. Oh well. I'll know who I watch now. Also, the fact that I said Halo as hollow also probably gives you an idea of another YouTuber I watch. If you know, you know. If you don't know, it's fine. Oh, never mind. 
I know why. <laughs> I was like, why is there such an uptick in my impressions and all of that in November? While like my watch time and shit isn't that great. And then I remembered that Magic Potion Millionaire came out on the Switch. And I'm pretty much one of the, or before, I don't know about now, before I was one of the few content creators who had anything about Magic Potion Millionaire. Was it fun? Actually, I only found out. I was really confused as to why Magic Potion Millionaire was starting to get so much attention. And then I found out it came out on the Switch. And I was like, oh, that makes so much more sense now. Damn it. Aww. Oh well. That was actually a really good run. Again, not exactly what I was expecting when I was like, oh, let's just do one more. But hey, shh, it'll be between you and me. All right, so that is where I'm gonna be ending this episode. If you're not already, feel free to subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.